Where is the best place to buy chemicals? This video will show you some of the various places that chemicals can be purchased. So, you've decided that you're an alchemist, and that you require reagents for your alchemical experiments. You want to take a crack at finding the Philosopher's Stone, but you probably haven't realized that money is the true Philosopher's Stone. Money, 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 money. You can convert money into any other chemical. However, because of inflation, money is a reagent that doesn't store very well, so you kind of have to use it as you get it. There's a wide range of chemical suppliers that provide chemicals to suit various purposes. An alchemist needs access to lots of chemicals. How many? Lots. Why do you need to buy chemicals? What the heck can you do without them? You sort of need them to make other ones. What do you mean, why do we need chemicals? Don't you need to keep eating food so that you can keep consuming? So now that we're through that, let's talk about some of the main challenges of buying chemicals. When you're a chemist doing chemistry, you need to conduct experiments. If you're an organic chemist or an inorganic chemist, this typically involves dissolving a reagent in a solvent. So there's two things we need already. We need to have a solvent and we need to have a reagent. Solvents can often be purchased from local suppliers. However, depending on how specialized the solvents are, you might need to go and buy them from a different vendor. A number of vendors will allow you to purchase their chemicals even if you just ship it to a residential address or a PO box, although there are some businesses that will only sell to registered labs, business addresses, or universities, for instance, just to name a few. If you're conducting experiments under various circumstances, you might not have access to some of the vendors that would normally be able to sell stuff to you. So what are all the main vendors? Which vendors are the best? And how are you gonna get your solvent and reagents to conduct your experiments? Well, even in this one scenario, we're just talking about one experiment with one solvent and one reagent, but you can imagine that we'd actually need lots of solvents, lots of reagents, oftentimes hundreds. A typical research lab often has hundreds of reagents, if not thousands. So it's important to have supply chains set up so that you can get your reagents to conduct your experiments. Where should you be looking? What sorts of reagents should you be getting? And how do you know if they're actually pure or not? Hopefully, this video will help answer some of those questions. So there's a lot of different chemical suppliers in the world, and since I live in Canada, most of my vendors are from either Canada or the US, but they're not exclusively from Canada or the US. There's also several that exist around the world. I've worked in three research labs during my time doing research, so I've needed to order from a variety of vendors. Now that I'm conducting some experiments in my own lab, now I feel like a real YouTuber. Oh, I think the vacuum. Well, at least it was recording. I need to purchase some chemicals myself. And since I don't have the restrictions that the university places on me anymore, i.e. only approved vendors, I can order from wherever I want. That means that accessibility and cost are a major concern. I wanna keep the barrier low for this video, so I'm gonna start with some of the most accessible vendors, even if they aren't S tier. The way that this tier list is gonna work is that the vendors which are the most accessible, least ripoff, best deal in terms of bang for buck, and also accessibility, those are the types of vendors that are gonna go into S tier. But if they will only ship to a registered business address or to a university research lab, they can't go into S tier because that is not S tier service. Oftentimes people talk about equity and equity is really important in this case as well. You should be able to access chemicals so that you can conduct scientific experiments. If there isn't equity of access to chemicals, then certain people will have an advantage over others. This is gonna happen no matter what, but I hope that this video will help you get access to some chemicals that were harder for you to find before. Equity is important, and science needs to keep happening, and you can't do chemistry without some chemicals. So let's start with one that's really accessible, Amazon. So while Amazon's prices for chemicals are usually pretty high, if you have like a Prime membership, usually it's a really good deal, because you don't have to pay for shipping, and you also don't have to cover brokerage, as long as it's within the country. So while Amazon can be a little bit expensive, there aren't those hidden fees that you get with shipping and brokerage. Because I live in Canada and I'm ordering stuff from the States all the time, I'm constantly having to pay an extra 30 to up to like 100 or so dollars on a single package, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't be that way, so buying from Amazon is often good in that sense. I've been able to buy some chemicals like sodium thiosulfate, but I know if you live in the States, you can buy most common chemicals from Amazon. Oftentimes there's these other vendors like Stellar Chemical Corp or other small Amazon stores which will sell reagents to you. But in Canada, this isn't often the case. There are some chemicals you can buy through Amazon. There's actually quite a lot. You just need to know exactly what it is you need and you can't search by the chemical. Oftentimes chemicals will have common names. So knowing the application of these chemicals can help you find them. So it's really important to understand where these chemicals are used so that you can find a market where these are being sold in. Amazon overall, it's pretty good. It will ship to residential addresses. Amazon's gotta be S tier. They could do better. They could allow more chemicals to be sold on Amazon, especially in Canada. 
But overall, Amazon's pretty good. It's accessible, it's a little bit expensive, but then once you start factoring in shipping, currency conversions, Amazon's just a really good choice. Another really accessible one is eBay. eBay will ship you whatever you want. The annoying thing about eBay is oftentimes sellers will add shipping to each individual item. You might be ordering 10 things from a vendor and you're getting dinged with like $15, $20 shipping on every single item. That's ridiculous. And if you have prime shipping on Amazon, that's free for whatever items you get. So eBay is definitely worse in that sense. However, eBay will sell you things like triphenylphosphine, palladium on carbon, triethylamine, things that, at least in Canada on Amazon, would be much harder to get. eBay is pretty good. It's definitely an S-tier vendor, even though the prices are marked up quite a bit. So the prices aren't terrible, but they're not good. You're not getting the same sorts of prices that these big chemical companies are. And that's what you really want to be getting, so that it's fair. So these are two of the main ones, but now I'm going to talk about some other ones you probably haven't heard of before. One of my favorite vendors is Mystic Moments. Mystic Moments is where I buy my ethyl acetate, as it's actually the easiest way for me to get ethyl acetate in Canada. If you live in the States, you can probably get this at like Home Depot or Walmart, as it's sold as a common solvent, but for whatever reason, at the moment in Canada, it's just not too common. You're also able to get a wide range of reagents from Mystic Moments, so you just need to know what you're looking for. Mystic Moments sells all sorts of skin care, some aromatherapy stuff, including fragrance ingredients and oils, so you can find stuff such as salicylic acid from them. They even sell up to 200 kilograms of salicylic acid. That is a lot of salicylic acid. 200 kilograms. Now, I was able to buy 5 kilograms of this, but since this is coming from the UK, Canadian Customs always opens these packages. What do you mean you're ordering 5 kilograms of a white powder? We have to check this out. I guess they have to check out everything. You know, I'm not encouraging you to do this. Do it. But I bet if someone was checking packages, and there was a really strong, foul-smelling chemical in there, they might be a little bit less likely to look at your packages in the future. But that's just a theory. A chem theory. In addition to salicylic acid, they sell some other good ones, such as isoamyl acetate, which is the flavor of banana, and just some other random esters like ethyl isovalerate, ethyl butyrate, and benzaldehyde. I was able to order a kilogram of benzaldehyde from them. So Mystic Moments is great. Overall, really good vendor. They belong right in S tier. Another really good vendor, which might belong in A tier, but I still think belongs in S tier, is Bulk Supplements. So their prices are a little bit high, but if you compare them to the normal chemistry vendors, they're not high at all. For instance, if you wanted to get proline, proline is one of the 20 amino acids, and it was also able to win someone a Nobel Prize a few years ago. Here you can see you can get a kilo for just $44 US, or $58 Canadian. A kilogram of proline is enough proline for you to do chemistry experiments till the cows come home, and they even sell you up to 25 kilograms if you really need a lot of proline. Bulk supplements will also ship to a P.O. box or to a residential address, so they're extremely convenient. Bulk supplements, you belong right in S tier. Occasionally you might need some other solvents, so I like to get stuff from Plastic World. Plastic World isn't an S tier vendor because they only have a few things, but they have a pretty decent deal if you want like glacial acetic acid, as their prices are pretty reasonable. Even though this is still technically a ripoff for acetic acid, this is probably the best deal you're going to get at the consumer level. They also offer things like tetrahydrofuran and dichloromethane, but you might be able to find those somewhere else cheaper. However, they do ship to a P.O. box, and they also ship to residential dresses, which is a pretty good feature. Overall, they're still d tier. They don't offer too many chemicals, but they do have some good options. My favorite local supplier is Xenex Labs in Canada. They will ship to a P.O. box, and they'll usually deliver next day, free shipping if the orders are high enough. At least they were at the time of recording this video. Xenex Labs offers all sorts of great ones. Since they mainly serve pharmacies, there's a number of things that you can't buy unless you're a pharmacy. They do offer things like lactic acid, formaldehyde, chloroform, and overall they have a decent selection of items, and they're reasonably priced. So Xenex Labs, they also belong right in S tier. I just wish that they would sell me everything that they have in their inventory. So these ones are pretty good, but they still don't quite meet all of my solvent needs. Another company, which will just sell you some random stuff like sulfuric acid, as well as acetic anhydride, is Science Company. <laughs> Carolina Chemical is another pretty good one, which will ship to P.O. boxes. They've got all sorts of different chemicals available, such as dichloromethane, acetonitrile, diethyl ether, but they won't ship diethyl ether to Canada. Also, I ordered some lidocaine from them, and they said something quite funny. Maximum strength anal lube. <laughs> one of the best ones, though, in terms of price and accessibility, is Onyx Met. Onyx Met sells all sorts of metals, and they will definitely ship to a P.O. box. They're based in Poland, and they sell a ton of items for very cheap. Really good deals available from Onyx Met, but they lack a lot of organic molecules. They have a handful, 
but not a ton. But you can get like 100 grams of chloroacetic acid from them for $6. And they'll even send you sodium, which is a little bit expensive, but hey, they ship it to you. So these are some of the main ones, but if you're conducting hardcore research, you're going to need some more solvents, some more chemicals that are hard to find from every one of these vendors that we've talked about so far. Chemsavers is not an S-tier vendor. They are like a C-tier vendor at best. However, they can probably ship you whatever you need. Their markups are really terrible. They're really expensive, but I was able to get heptane from them and terbutanol from them, even though they're just reselling other companies. They will ship to a P.O. box. They will ship to residential dresses, but they are very expensive for what they sell. Now, you might have some luck finding solvents at like Rona. Rona doesn't have too much, at least in Canada, Rona's like at least already like a D tier vendor. Not a very good vendor for chemicals, but they might have a few things that you need. Home Depot, on the other hand, you can get acetone. Overall, Home Depot is great. They have random chemicals you might need, like drain cleaner, sulfuric acid. You might need muriatic acid, hydrochloric acid, or something like acetone very easily from Home Depot. You can even get your fire extinguishers there to make sure you're doing everything safe. Home hardware is another good option. Again, some various different chemicals you might need. Simple home chemicals like base, acid, peroxide, etc. They're reasonably accessible, but they just don't have a ton of selection and their prices aren't very good. So we can put home hardware also in D tier. In the States, home hardware might be a little bit higher. So if you disagree with that one, you can let me know down in the comments. Etsy also has a ton of options. However, crazy high markup, very hard to predict availability. A number of the vendors that sell through Etsy, you can also just buy directly, like Mystic Moments is one of the main ones that sells through there. But yeah, you can get some things on Etsy that you should not be able to get on Etsy. Uh, yeah, so a little bit sus, but hey, you can get stuff on Etsy, so that's, that's interesting. One of the craziest cheap ones is US Pigment Corp. Check this out. You can get a pound of potassium permanganate for only $10, and if you want 10 pounds, it's only $50. That's so effing cheap. They also sell potassium dichromate. And look at that, a pound of potassium dichromate for only $12. And they offer all sorts of metal salts for very, very cheap. Onyx Met is also really good for that, but US Pigments Corp is just so cheap. Their shipping is very sketchy, but very good deal. So US Pigments Corp also S tier. I also like to get my sodium hydroxide locally from a local store called Voyager Soap and Candle Co. Their deals aren't great, but they have a couple things. So we'll also put them into B tier. They can't do a ton, but they have a couple chemicals available for cheap. They did sell me triethylenolamine though, and so that was kind of a that was kind of a good one to get. Outside of the main chemicals that you're going to be wanting like feedstock bulk chemicals, solvents, reagents, etc., you might be interested in getting some nice smelling compounds. The most accessible place for the home chemist is probably Perfumes Apprentice. If you like different perfumes, different fragrances, this site contains tons of different fragrances, including very small quantities for cheap. You can probably get better bulk pricing on most of these, but if you just want a little bit of a chemical to smell it, like a fragrance for a perfume, this is a good site. They also sometimes include the formulation of this fragrance, so that you can prepare it in a usable form yourself. Perfumer's Apprentice has a pretty decent selection. There are a couple other good ones like Perfumer's World, which is in Thailand. The disadvantage with Perfumer's World is it takes a little bit longer. Nonetheless, a ton of different chemicals available for pretty cheap. The annoying thing is if you buy larger quantities from either of these, they don't scale the prices properly, so it ends up being a better deal just to buy their minimum order amount, because the large amounts, there's not really any incentive to buy. Another good perfume vendor with a ton of selection is Pellwalp, but their prices are terrible. They're like the chem savers of perfume ingredients. They have a lot of good options, but they will take every nickel and dime they can get out of you for it. There's a ton of perfume ingredients around the world, and there's more common and less common ones. Chemicals are a little bit like Pokemon. There's the really common ones, and there's the really rare ones. But all you really want to be doing is training your Pokemon. So I guess this is where you're going to get all your Pokemon from. Walmart also has some good ones. For whatever reason, their selection isn't as good, at least in Canada, but I'd say they're at least an A-tier vendor. You can get acetone from them, their nail polish remover acetone in Canada. It's basically pure acetone. I think there's a bit of denatonium benzoate in there, but you can also get like oxone, potassium bisulfate, really, really cheaply from Walmart. Walmart's okay. We also have some like Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire marks up all their stuff, but you can get like methyl ethyl ketone from them. A little bit overpriced for what they sell, and that just seems to be a trend of the store. You can also get stuff like concentrated hydrochloric acid from them, various solvents, but again, just a little bit frustrating. Antifreeze is another good one. You can get ethylene glycol from antifreeze, so you could get that from Canadian Tire as well, I guess. A local one that I really like is called FiberTech. FiberTech is able to ship acetone cheaper than Home Depot is. I think it's like $28 for four liters, at least at the time of recording it was. And they also sell dichloromethane. They will ship to a PO box. They will ship to a residential address. No problem. 
There are some chemicals available on AliExpress. I haven't explored these a ton, but since AliExpress starts with an A, why don't we put it into A tier? There's a couple other smaller ones left which we'll mention. Facebook Marketplace is a good one to check, especially if you need large quantities. I saw someone offering 200 liters of acetone for only $700 here, and that's 700 Canadian. That's pretty cheap acetone. It's worth just taking a look on any place where there is a market to see if chemicals are being sold. That's basically what I would say. In addition to Facebook Marketplace, another vendor is Chemcraft, but the disadvantage of Chemcraft is they only accept cryptocurrency. They do sell you a lot of things though, so if you're looking for some random metal salt and you're not sure how you're going to get it, Chemcraft might be a viable option. As far as I know, they'll ship to a PO box or a residential address, but as I'm not a crypto bro, I haven't tested this for myself. One last one that's worth noting is Stellar Chemical Corp. They won't sell stuff to Canada, so that's going to put them into B tier for me, but they sell through eBay, Amazon, as well as through their own site. They offer a lot of chemicals that you might need, but their prices aren't as good as you could probably get somewhere else. Decent overall though. Now that we're through most of the home chem accessible ones, for any researchers watching, or for anybody running a company, this is where you're going to be getting the bulk of your reagents. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Sigma Aldrich. Sigma Aldrich is definitely not S tier, but they probably do belong in A tier. Sigma will rip you off for everything they sell. They have really bad deals on everything, and if you want to get a good deal from Sigma Aldrich, you have to email a service rep. For some reason, chemists are never taught this, but if you want to buy something, you can request a price quote. And if you're buying from any chemical vendor, and you're spending probably more than $100, you should ask for a price quote and see if they can give you a discount. Sigma Aldrich offers discounts to all of their major customers, and people have codes that will let them get discounts. Sigma Aldrich offers basically anything you could want, not quite anything, but like a ton of stuff. But all that Sigma is doing is they're buying from some vendors and they're selling it to others. The reason why prices are so expensive at Sigma Aldrich compared to other places is because they can. When you are buying stuff, you don't tend to have like 100 different companies you can buy from unless you're crazy like me. You're usually buying from a handful unless you're checking every single vendor every single time. So these companies are relying on you being lazy and not checking the price at their competitors. Additionally, what these companies are doing is they're buying massive volumes of it. They might be buying like a ton of this at a time, breaking it down into one liter bottles and then selling that at a crazy high markup. So Sigma will have what you need, but you're going to pay an arm and a leg for it, at least in all likelihood. After Sigma Aldrich, I'm going to cover the ones which I think deserve mention the most. AK Scientific, another A-tier supplier. They will not ship to residential, they will not ship to a P.O. box, but they have really, really good deals. Enormous library of building blocks. When I was doing research, I'm pretty sure we bought hundreds of chemicals from AK Scientific because you could just get sometimes like 100 grams of something for like 8 bucks. They say chemistry isn't sexual, but this got me growing right now too. <laughs> Crazy good deal. I don't know, man. Seeming sus lately. Now, the recent one that I came across was Ambead. A number of viewers of the channel were telling me about Ambead and how good it is. And dude, Ambead sells stuff I was making in my PhD. I got authorship on a paper for making a reagent on a large scale that Ambead now sells. I'm glad that they offer that now. And if you want to explore some of the chemistry we checked out, you could even go to Ambead and buy this yourself. Who the hell Cash. They offer a lot of really good reagents for really cheap though. They even have some stuff that's like 100 grams for $5. And I'm going to have a really hard time not spending every single dollar that YouTube earns for the channel on chemicals from Ambead. Ambead, A tier. It would be S tier if you ship to PO boxes and residential dresses, but alas, they don't. Ambead is like the American version of BLD Farm. Similar idea, but basically in Europe. Another really good one is Enamine. Enamine's based out of Ukraine. And companies also pay enamine to make molecules that they want. Again, massive library, lots of chemicals available, but their prices are a little bit higher than they used to. But since they have such a good selection, I'll still keep them in A tier, which is appropriate, because it's enamine. Combi Blocks is another really good one. The annoying thing is they make you log in before you can see their prices, or at least select your country. If you're a chemical vendor watching this video, let me tell you how your business is supposed to work. Okay, so you just search things the way you would search them, and then make sure that your website actually works that way. Search things in Google the way you would search them and see if your company's website comes up. If it doesn't, you have a problem. Okay, once you search that company's website and the website comes up, I should be able to see a price immediately. I should be able to buy it and add to cart immediately without creating an account. If you really insist on creating an account, fine, but I should be able to see those prices, they should be fair, and I shouldn't have to contact a sales rep. The only reason you're having to pay a sales rep salary is because you haven't automated your systems yet. 
Sure, you can have a couple sales reps for bigger customers, but you should be selling stuff to people regardless. It's just easier and there's no need for it. It's making it inaccessible and I'm going to buy from a vendor that doesn't do that. So if you don't mind me buying from your competition, no problem. Just keep doing a shitty job. If you're looking for inorganic compounds, Strem will probably have what you're looking for, or something very, very close. They sell stuff that's so obscure that you'll have never seen it before, and some inorganic chemist made it once or twice, and so now they sell it. So Strem is a vital resource for people doing inorganic chemistry. Another decent one is Activate Scientific. They sell some random building blocks that are useful, but they won't ship to a P.O. box, so they can go right into B-tier. Also, if I don't say that they ship to a P.O. box or residential, they don't. I forgot to mention this one earlier, but Perfume Supply House, they have some random obscure perfume ingredients that are a little bit interesting. Their prices are a little bit high, but they're okay, so we'll put them into C tier. Not a huge selection, but they're all right. Another good one in Europe is Florochem. I think to buy from Florochem now, you have to go to a site called Doug Discovery, where you can do drug discovery. But Florochem used to be a really good source of AGF, silver fluoride, for people that I worked with. As their name implies, they specialize in fluorinated chemicals, and AGF starts with an A. Synquest is pretty good, but their prices are a bit high. They have some fluorinated gases that are really challenging to find in North America through other vendors, and we were able to buy a bunch of different stuff from them, as needed. The people at Synquest are also pretty fun at fluorine conferences, but some of the most yikes behavior I've ever seen has happened from Synquest employees at conferences. That being said, they were a lot of fun. VWR is one that you really want to avoid. Their markup is terrible, and they can go right into F tier. VWR charges really high prices, and they shouldn't do that. Oakwood is great if you need hexafluoroisopropanol. They have some other good fluorinated chemicals. It's just worth checking Oakwood whenever you're buying a decent amount of a reagent. So I bought my hexafluoroisopropanol from them significantly cheaper than Sigma Aldrich. A lot of the time, these vendors will be selling stuff for like 10 times cheaper than their competitors. So it's really important to check. Alpha ASAR is another one. It's pretty bad. It's not quite as bad as VWR, probably like D tier, but their prices are just so bad that they're not worth buying from. TCI. TCI is one that you only order from if you have no other choice. TCI's markup is usually pretty bad, but they have a decent selection. They're just never a good deal. Same with Matrix Scientific. Occasionally, Matrix Scientific will have something that you need, but they're just not a very good vendor overall. Their prices aren't that good. The compounds were fine, but it's just random building block library sort of thing. Roth. Chemiolis really likes to order from Roth. This is one that's popular in Europe, and he buys the majority of his chemicals from them, so I'm going to put them into A tier. If you like Roth, drop a comment down below. Thermo Fisher is another one. Crazy high markup prices unless you talk to a sales rep. I would avoid buying from any companies that are putting this much markup on anything because it's, in my opinion, unethical. Cambridge Isotope Labs. They offer a ton of different deuterated solvents and chemicals that you might need. I haven't ordered from them specifically, but our university does, and I've used their solvents a bunch. They're great. TRC, Toronto Research Chemicals. Their prices are okay, but they only ship to research labs. They have a bunch of random stuff, even like milligrams of some really obscure things, but they're going to charge a lot of money for it. So they have what you need, but they're not great. Why don't we put it into C? C for TRC. Synthonics is another one with a bunch of building blocks. I haven't bought from them before, so take this rating with a grain of salt. They have some cool stuff. If their prices are good, let me know down below, but I'm going to put them into C tier because, yeah, I just haven't had the chance to order from them so far. Same with Manchester Organics. I haven't ordered from them before, but I've seen their name pop up here and there. I'll put them into C tier. Let me know what you think about Manchester Organics down below. We have a couple other ones like BioBasic. I don't think BioBasic is very good and they only ship to businesses, but I'll put them into B tier because they start with a B. Last, we have Kaladin Labs and Astatech. Again, haven't ordered from Kaladin. You can let me know down below if you think they're good. But Astatech is the worst. Astatech gets a permanent place in F tier, okay? Astatech is Blastadec. And if you're not sure who Blastadec is, Blastadec made the deoxiflor that completely ruined our glove box catalyst. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. So Astatec, absolutely F tier. I will never buy anything from Astatec ever again. In summary... There's many different places to buy chemicals, and depending on where you live, the one that makes the most sense to you could be different than it is for me. It's important to remember to ask for a quote so that you can save money on your orders, especially if you're spending more than like $100 through a vendor. Places like Amazon offer free shipping, and local distributors won't have any brokerage at the border, so you might save money that way as well. 
I want to also mention that making chemicals is more time consuming and laborious than buying chemicals. So if you're trying to build a library, it makes more sense to buy a library, at least in most instances. It also takes a ton of effort to purify stuff, and there's solvents and reagents involved in the preparation of any chemical, so there's a ton of unseen costs going into the preparation of every single chemical that you buy, which means that it's usually a pretty good deal to buy whatever chemical you're getting instead of making it yourself. If this video has been valuable to you, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. I hope this video helped you save some money. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.